what am I supposed to do about all this? This is this is a lot of information. Not a lot of great news, honestly. Yeah. So um, I think like like we kind of touched on, to me, um, although this is not meant to be black or white, dairy is bad, meat is fine. That's not what this is meant to be. Um, just trying to create kind of a, um, a structure or, or a hierarchy for maybe what's more of an issue. So to me, um, it's dairy is more of an issue than the meat itself. To me, still even within that, um, hormones are more of an issue than the antibiotics. Okay. Uh, particularly whenever you're making individual decisions, you cannot make these decisions, you know, big picture. You can't ultimately with the dollars you support, sure. you know, those angles you can take and they're all valid. But in terms of just, you're making a day-to-day -day decision. Um, one thing I do want to, I do want to touch on that, um, is, is related to adolescent age children. Um, this is something that in terms of the hot headlines or the theoretical things you can find and kind of run with. Yeah. Um, in terms of studies, there is some um, confliction there. There's definitely some conflict related to um, what the facts are, but um, a, a, there were multiple studies that I read still kind of ended with the terms of we're more concerned about it in in um, adolescent age children, also in perinatal children, basically up to one year old. Okay. Um, and again, it has to do with those hormone exposures. So um, one study, though, that I definitely, you know, found was very conclusive was related to girls. Mm -hmm. um, they they analyzed over a thousand girls aged nine to twelve and they stratified their milk consumption, um, basically never. Um, sometimes are infrequent and then daily. And so within that, and that's critical too, because this, this, this would be something where amount matters dramatically. Right. Um, they found no increased, um, or, or in this case, what the end end point was, was, um, menarche, which is the first onset of menstruation. Right. They found significant lowering of that age in the daily milk users, and they found no difference in the no or rarely used. So again, we're back to the moderation, wow. back to the moderation thing. Um, so can, can we extrapolate that out to boys and to early puberty, precocious puberty in all ways? Not that I feel comfortable saying, but I think um, theoretically it does make sense. And from the standpoint of this end point of the menarche, that onset of menstruation, um, study was pretty solid. And I really liked how they stratified that out. It wasn't just exposure, you know, cause study, you can frame studies differently if you just, everybody gets a little bit of milk and yep. so there's no increase yeah. or the opposite. Everybody gets a ton, but remember how much not to get too spooky here, but how much money is behind the dairy industry and all these different meat producing companies. When you're trying to find out information that can potentially be um, damaging to them, it's sure. more of an uphill battle. You're relying on institutions and different places to do that. And so again, not, not trying to go all conspiratorial, but always just be aware of any biases whenever you're reading those kind of studies. So I liked again that they stratified that clearly. No money is going to be uh, put out there to back a study that's going to bring down the industry paying for it. Yes. So that and, makes And we sense. touched on okay. it earlier, but related to hormone exposures and why a child may go through early puberty, things like that. We've got obesity. There are much higher rates in children than there used to be. Sedentary lifestyles. Yeah. Um, the plant sources that, that we mentioned, um, the BPAs, the plastics, the Teflon, all those things, again, are critical to the big picture of what you're doing. If you're denying your child all milk and they're overweight and sedentary, and tons of soy and peanuts, you know, however it is, drinking out of water bottles all the time, the exposure. So I know it's, yeah. it's, it's become a very hot line to draw it at the hormones and antibiotic things. I do it myself. I'm going to continue to do it. Was I honestly, was I hoping that in doing this, it was going to be so clearly obvious that every step of the way, um, I did think so. It'd be nice, there's, wouldn't it? Yeah, there's still <laughs> there's still enough here that allows me to continue in that decision. Mm -hmm. But I think for the average person, milk is a good place to kind of draw the line in terms of, yeah, I'm going to lean organic there. Um, meat is one step down, but it's still important. Yeah. Um, I think further in um, adolescent age and in that first year, 
that's again, more critical whenever you're making that determination. So I really think that's where, um, you know, the takeaway from all this is kind of just creating a stratification of those things. Makes sense.